god, is this recording? Yes, it is. My StarCraft is still lagging. I wasn't gonna play this today, but might as well. It's eye of the storm here, folks. Let's get this started. The final mission of the original campaign. its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. Now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear, and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Fire shall not fall. Executor! I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For Ayr. And this is how the Protoss began to say in Tarot Tassadar. Executor, Tassadar, this comes too late to you. But the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. You have not enough to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all, and all our hopes go with you. Entaro Adun, brave sons of Ire. Wow, does that mean they're gonna send some backup for us? No, no Raider, they're not gonna send us a backup. And if Alderis and the Conclave didn't, you know, act like such a pansy, mission 2 to mission 7 to... to dying, no, not... Seven to eight could have been skipped. Yeah. And I'm I'm wondering like where where the hell is Phoenix like during all this? I mean I see Zero through here, but then Phoenix is like absent. Not like it matters though. And good thing about this mission is that you finally get to see the Gantry Thor. We've been having the mission briefing inside the gantry door, but this is the first instance we actually get to control. And obviously Tassadar is inside the, the huge carrier. Why am I not surprised? Okay, there's an expand here that we can take. Wanna put some pros in that geyser here. And like Starcraft is still spiking. Kind of kind of sucks, but we'll have to live with it. And I remember in when I when I used to play this before Remaster came out, the Zer the, the Zer will always send their queens and parasite the gantry for it, but I guess it's not doing that anymore. I don't know why. So that's why I usually put the gantry to all the way in the back so the, the queen won't you know do stuff like that, but it doesn't feel like it's doing that anymore. Oh gosh, this lag spike though. I gotta I gotta fix this. Actually. I don't know why it's lagging like this all of a sudden. You know, I gotta bring my Dark Templar buddies back again. Oh man, of course, start start our upgrade. It's right now almost midnight here. It's just on the I recorded Shadow Hunters, the previous mission, like several hours ago. 
Um, I wanted to at least conclude the original campaign. Like, before next week, but I guess it's not gonna happen. I have work tomorrow too. So I gotta be kind of careful with that as well. I get enough sleep, of course. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I was thinking of going mass battle cruisers at Curious, but that's gonna take way too long, so. It, it's gonna be back to good old ground units and whatnot. Yeah, we're fine here. And of course, get a lot of. Marines and fire bats. Because they're pretty good. I suppose. Although we, we do share resources, we don't share the supplies and whatnot, so. That's good to know, right? Okay, we'll start getting weapons upgrade. I actually prioritize shields because of the Gantricor, but. Now I have to wait. And of course we're supply block. Why am I not surprised? Okay, I'm just scouting the whole map with Zerf 2 because although the map is big, almost like 60% of this map area is kind of don't really need to explore. It's not really used. Because but most of the enemy AIs are like centered around there in the middle of the map, so... So this is kind of co completely redundant what I'm doing, but... Eh. Might as well scout the whole map first with Zeratu, and Zeratu is in this way, right? so... And let's start slowly adding a cybernetic score. And we need a lot more SPs. I gotta be careful. Defilers like to play my turn base for some reason. Just exploring the whole map. Okay, here they come. There we go. Fine here. Gotta wait. At least I'll be selling in the meantime. More SCVs is welcome. Keep starting down. Your orders Try to explore the fog of war if possible. Okay, we can get dragoons now, so we'll, we'll research singularity. I want to get the snipe port and get my level two and three weapons upgrade, so I will do that relatively soon. I see a lot of SCVs. And this is the first time that our units are actually... Not first time, but... Like, a, f a rare instance where our Protoss units are not yellow. It's just to indicate that... You know, it, it also matches the color of the Raiders Raiders, so that's kind of good to know, I guess, but... Just to sh tell you that after after this mission, the the Protoss that we control will all be blue, and that goes all the way to blue work. Yeah, we're running out of mineral fields there. We gotta actually expand. So I'll expand. They're usually expanding here is more preferable, but but why not? In the meantime, I'm gonna keep building a lot of stuff here. Going by units without medics feels bad. Feels really bad. Okay, we got our better upgrade here. Oh, by the way, if the Zerg sees a gadget, they're gonna send like a billion, billion Zerg. 
like surf scourges at the poor craft aircraft, so I gotta be careful with that. Okay, nothing here. You see some red here. We're getting close to the middle area. So we wanna kind of avoid that if possible. And yeah, we'll just probably get more SCVs, I suppose. Try to sat saturate all my mineral fuse. Even though it's a Protoss campaign, funnily enough, our turn base gets more more better treatment, right? Okay, they are one upgraded. That's fine. Get off this up there. Turn there. As for zero three, you know, it just keep scouting because you know you're bored. I know you're bored. Okay, let's move like most of our probes to the new expand. Our level two is up two upgrades. Researching now, so that's good. Yes, executor. Get a leg upgrade. Temple archives. You can also use this geyser, which which is somewhat useful, I should say. Yeah, that that should be good enough. Like a pylon here for defenses. I I remember whenever I expand here, they send like circles too at one at one point. So this is the very final mission, and I do believe it's fitting that we get to use both Terran and Protoss. But I feel like I I I, I feel like um. I mean, I mean, as you can see with the difficulty right now, like I haven't gotten any attacks from the Zerg yet, not, not that much, and it's just kind of underwhelming, you know. The level of difficulty is kind of you would expect like a lot of you know frequent attack attack wave, but if we compare the AI level with the campaign level setting that you normally find in in the map editor, I'll say this is like a medium level difficulty and that is kind of, if you think about it, kind of sad. But what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Okay, let's warp in no, another assimilator. Keep making bio units. Oh, so here comes the ultralist. Yeah. Alright, the is not even be needed. So. Oh, I completely forgot about Zero. Alright, Zero 2 keeps exploring here for us. Okay, let's get more probes. Let's try to get another cannon or two there. Maybe three cannons each. We don't have that much ground noise for our Protoss, but... I do this for iron. Keep exploring the map, Zero Two. It will be done. Yes, exactly. And you be careful, Gantor. All right, all right. I, don't worry. I'm gonna keep building gateways too. Not like right there, I suppose. 
Our upgrade's done again. Come on. Now we'll add those two. Why not? It'd be nice if you, if you could kill Dark Templar, but... Oh man. Not too much to say here. Just smackering up. I think... I did play this a lot of times, but I, I remember when I, like, just, like, got 3-3 three, three upgraded zealots and just A-clicked the overmind in the middle. And <laughs> that's how it defeated one instance, like that before once. It's kind of fun, I say, I should say. Okay, they're now attacking it. That overload is kind of scaring me a bit. Let's yes. get ghosts too, because why not? You know, I should probably uh, get armies for the Hyperion. Okay, that's their next attack apparently. Kind of slow attack. Oh, they're gonna boo us, aren't they? Yep. Not much to say here. Move out my marines a bit here. Be careful with the Gantator. These, those four Dark Templars can scout, I suppose. Okay, how's their upgrades then? Very fine. I think if this map had like all, like, a lot of Zerg, like, AIs all around the map, it would have been fitting for the final mission, but that's not what we got, so. No use complaining now, I suppose. But... Like, you call this an attack? Like, seriously? Like, so sad. Alright, let's be careful. Okay, that's what I was talking about, though. You, you saw, like, like Gantrithor is already almost dying. Gotta be careful. Alright, let's try to move Tassar up that. Oh, anyways. More units here and there. We we'll need to rebuild some photon cannons. Our Dark Templar only get one damage per upgrade. And they have 80 shields as opposed to the Blue War. Brood War Dark Templar where they have 40 shields, but 80 HP. Okay, now I am finally side blocked. Our upgrades are strong right now, 2 2 on our fully 2 upgraded on our Protoss ground units. I maxed out on my weapons 1. What is upgrade for turn? Just keep you building the supply depots here. They are too. We're doing fine. Why are they always attacking that? Okay. Soon, guys. Soon. We'll commence the attack. No, I might add some. Ghosts and whatnot. Probably more barracks is in order. Oh, Zerat, what are you doing? You got a death wish? That's what I was wor worried about. It's fine. 
Okay, so you have two E's with Raynard this time. Did we never make the other decks? By the way, since we're up against the Surge, getting the Ghost Cloak and Lockdown of her is pretty much worthless. Just FYI. Okay, let's see. How's our upgrade? Alright, let's try to soften the realm of it. We lost all our Dark Templar. Okay, let's attack all at once. We have enough ground units right now. We can reinforce always. Oh no, keep getting spot sidewalked. It's a good thing the Ultras don't even have any notable armor upgrades. And in case you're wondering, you know these red boots? Red Zerg units? They're, I think they're commanded by that one. Or that's how I remember it at least. It's a multi-attack! Why couldn't they just use... Okay, our turn forces got slaughtered, that's to be expected. But why couldn't they just use... Zero to... to kill the Overmind. Like, at this point. It's so weird. But uh, apparently that never happened, so... Tassiver effortlessly sacrificed himself. Alright, let's go with Zero to this time. Keep getting the next upgrade. If I actually went mass mechanical units for our, our Terran units, they probably would have pushed through. But that, that's not what happened, so. Alright, get back. Yeah, hold it back. That lag though. Our Protoss units are still striking in. Alright, it's time for our buddy Tassadar to suicide into the Overmind. Yeah, we're worth that fun. But I mean, see, Zeratu is here. Like, if he kills that Overmind, there shouldn't be that. The Overmind is regrowing nonsense. But. Uh, I don't know, that's part of the reason why I really I really did not like extra 4 but that, that's what we get guys it was pretty, it was really rushed if you think about it alright yeah we're fine the overmind has been weakened I fear we have sustained severe damage ourselves. I will steer the Gantrathor into a collision course with the Overmind. If I can channel enough of the Dark Templar's energy through the hull of the Gantrathor, I should be able to bring swift death to the accursed abomination. Should be. Remember us, Executor. Remember what was done here today. May Abdul watch over you. Mighty. Noble Cassadar, I salute you for your meaningless 
sacrifice. Alright, let's go watch the cinematic and conclude the original. This Tesla. Lore. Don't you have any more people inside the gadget door? That's the open mic. Chaotic swirling energy subsided, a heavy silence settled over the battlefields of iron. Due to test, the Sutter is no sacrifice. The over was, was now dead and deserted swarms are scattered and broken. But as the heroes survey their once glorious homeland, Rainer, Zerathur, and Phoenix, Phoenix all of a sudden showed up. They realized that their victory had cost them all but their lives. Iron was left nothing more than a smoldering ruin. Those few Protoss who survived the final battle could only wonder what the future would hold for their race. And far away on the distant planet Char, carrying the self-styled Queen of Blades, knew that the time of her ascension was at, was at hand. Ooh, spooky. Eh, man. Imagine if in Brewer Tassador was still alive. Tassadar would be giving lessons to Kurgan like, like he did in the in episode 2 A Dark Templar, I believe it was called the mission Mission 6 or 5 Mission 6 I think Anyway, that, that's gonna be it here for DK I hope you all enjoy watching the original playthrough of of DK I guess next week well, it is already next week. It's midnight right now, so it's Monday for me. I work in less than nine hours, but yeah, starting this week, I'll be uploading Brutal episodes four through six. So look forward to that, folks. DK signing off. <laughs> <laughs>